Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready for circle time? Let's see. Let's start with a song. <laughs> I know what one. Max is a friend of mine. He sits quietly at circle time. He speaks softly when he talks and when inside he always walks. Benjamin is a friend of mine. He sits quietly at circle time. He speaks softly when he talks and when inside he always walks. Beatrice is a friend of mine. She sits quietly at circle time. She speaks softly when she talks and when inside she always walks. Jude is a friend of mine. He sits quietly at circle time. He speaks softly when he talks and when inside he always walks. Mabel is a friend of mine. She sits quietly at circle time. She speaks softly when she talks and when inside she always walks. <coughs> Pardon me, boys and girls. Now, many of you know that the Henry and Mudge books are some of my favorite books. And the author of these books is called Cynthia Ryland. Now, what does the word author mean? the person who wrote the book. So Cynthia Ryland wrote the book and it is illustrated by Susie Stevenson. <clears throat> Pardon me. So this isn't a Henry and Mudge. This is an Annie and Snowball. Do you remember who Annie is? Annie's Henry's cousin. And we've already read Annie's Perfect Pet. And that was when Henry and his parents helped Annie find the perfect pet for her, which was a little rabbit named Snowball. So this is Annie and Snowball and the Prettiest House. Annie and her bunny Snowball lived in a house next door to Henry and his big dog Mudge. Henry was Annie's cousin. He was also her best friend. He taught her how to play frisbee. He showed her how to make a knot. He even helped her paint her dollhouse. And Henry never made fun of Annie. He never made fun of her lace hankies or her frilly dresses. Annie liked dainty things. Henry was the best friend ever. Annie liked Henry. Annie loved Mudge. And Annie liked living next door. There was just one thing Annie didn't like. Her house. It was a nice house. It was a clean house. But it wasn't a pretty house. And Annie loved pretty things. Annie lived with her dad, and he wasn't very good at making things pretty. Annie looked at the plain couch and the plain tables and the plain things her dad had, and she wanted pretty. So one day when Annie and Henry were sitting in Henry's backyard, Annie told him about what she wanted. While Mudge drooled on Snowball's head, oh, look at Mudge and little Snowball, so cute. You should go through our attic, said Henry. We have tons of pretty things, stuff from grandmas and lots of aunts. Really? asked Annie. Sure, said Henry. You could borrow things for your house. Really? Annie asked again. Mudge came over and sat on Henry. Henry groaned. Would you like to borrow a dog too? he asked. Mudge just licked him. Annie picked up Snowball and smiled. She was finally going to have a pretty house. Annie and Henry got permission from Henry's mom to go through the stuff in the attic. Just don't take Dad's tuba, said Henry's mom with a smile. Henry and Mudge and Annie and Snowball climbed the stairs to the attic. Wow, said Annie, your attic is big. She looked over into a corner. Look at that pink lamp with the bead, she said. I love it. Snowball had already found a box to explore. 
Budge was exploring a shoe. Here's a crazy quilt, said Henry, and look at this fancy mirror. Wow, said Annie. She saw a flowered chair in another corner. Perfect, she said. Hey, said Henry, here's my old crib. Annie looked at the crib and imagined Henry in it. Then she imagined Mudge in it. She giggled and giggled, imagining Mudge. What's so funny, asked Henry. Annie told him. Henry thought it was funny, too. Mudge just ignored him. His shoe was too good. Annie found wonderful things in Henry's attic. She went home and told her dad all about them. She asked if she could change their plain house into a pretty house. Annie's dad was a good dad. Sure, he said, but can I keep my beanbag chair? Annie smiled and hugged him. Annie and Henry and Henry's parents and Annie's dad all helped carry pretty things out of the attic. They carried lamps and chairs. They carried tables and mirrors. They even carried a lovely old angel with a chipped wing. Annie loved her the best. Then everyone moved the plain things out and the pretty things in. It took moving this and that to here and there just to get it all right. But when they were finished, Annie's house was beautiful. Wow, said Henry. Where's the butler, asked Henry's dad. I love it, said Annie. Everyone celebrated with ice cream sundaes at Annie's new kitchen table. Snowball got a pistachio nut. Mudge got all the cherries. And everyone agreed. It had been a very pretty day. Isn't that nice? So they worked together to figure out how to help Annie feel happier and more comfortable in her house. By making it pretty. You know, I was going to read another book, but I think I'll save some maybe for tomorrow's circle. What else should we do before the end of circle? How about another little song? What about the song where the dog runs away with the beans? Okay, this is a pretty silly one. I want you all to sing with me. Let me think. My dog Jelly ran away. My dog Jelly stayed away. Nowhere has my dog been seen. Where, oh, where has Jelly been? Jelly bean, Jelly bean. Where, oh, where has Jelly been? Jelly bean, Jelly bean. Where, oh, where has Jelly been? What about coffee? My dog coffee ran away. My dog coffee stayed away. Nowhere has my dog been seen. Where, oh, where has coffee been? Coffee bean, coffee bean. Where, oh, where has coffee been? Coffee bean, coffee bean. Where, oh, where has coffee been? One more. Lima. My dog Lima ran away. My dog Lima stayed away. Nowhere has my dog been seen. Where, oh, where has Lima been? Lima bean, Lima bean. Where, oh, where has Lima been? Lima bean, Lima bean. Where, oh, where has Lima been? Thank you, boys and girls. When you're ready, I offer you peace. I offer you friendship. I offer you love. I see your beauty. I hear your cry. I acknowledge your feelings. My wisdom flows through my spirit within. I salute that spirit in you. Let us work together in peace. I'll see you soon.